Tonight, for the first time, the parents of a murdered teenager are breaking their silence and talking with CBS 17 News exclusively. Friday, September 16th, 2022, 14-year-old Lyric Woods and another teenager, Devin Clark, disappeared. Two days later, their bullet-riddled bodies were discovered in the woods in Orange County. The search for a suspect lasted 17 days, and Isaiah Ross is now charged with their murders. But during the search, the sheriff could not reveal who they were looking for due to a state law. So since then, the parents fought to change that law. Tonight, they're talking with CBS 17's Haley Fixler exclusively about their loss and their long wait for justice. Then that was her Elizabeth Canada's home is a shrine to her daughter. She's so kind-hearted and tender-hearted and would do anything to help somebody else. Forever 14, Lyric Woods' smiling face beams from every surface, from each wall to each blanket on the couch. And just reminds me of my reason to keep going. And I absolutely love seeing her face everywhere. It just gives me comfort, even though I know I don't have her here. I love seeing her everywhere. Happy birthday! This is how her mother, stepfather, father Brady Woods, and stepmother attempt to grieve ever since their daughter went missing Friday, September 16th, 2022. It was about 11 o'clock. She came and gave us a hug and said, Good night. I love you. I'm going to take a shower. That was the last time they saw her. They reported Lyric missing the next morning when she wasn't in her bed and didn't answer her phone. The what's different was. She always lets her folks know where she's at, even if she's not home. What we have found is we've actually discovered two dead bodies. They're, they're, they're just laying around on the side of the road. On Sunday, September 18th, two ATV riders found Lyric's body and the body of an 18-year-old from Mebane, Devin Clark, in this brush, just two and a half miles from Lyric's home. She wasn't recognizable. Neither of them were recognizable. I was like, Tell me it's not her. And he just got out of the out of the Tahoe and hugged me and was just like, I'm so sorry. We completely fell to the ground. I knew then that my my baby was never coming home again. <laughs> Their nightmare didn't end. We couldn't talk about it. Um the law at the time was such that because juveniles were involved, no one could be told about the information that was contained within that case, not even the families. Um, about suspects, nothing could be discussed. The next few weeks were horrible because we didn't know who did it. It took 17 days for a team of investigators to find and arrest then 17-year-old Isaiah Ross in Delaware. Ross had briefly gone to school with Devin in Alamance County. We can have Mr. Ross out, please. Months later, in a courtroom filled with Lyric and Devin's family and friends, Ross, now facing two counts of first-degree murder, listened as investigators accused him of shooting Lyric four times and Devin five times. Deputies found 13 shell casings at the scene both laying on their back, both with their arms outstretched in this direction. It's awful already to lose her, but to think of how it was and that she was scared when she cried for us, you know, when she... she... She never had a chance to live. We're not the people that we used to be. Um, and never will be again. In the midst of their grief and court dates, Lyric's parents with Sheriff Blackwood work to change things for the future. Lyric and Devon's law now allows public identification of juvenile suspects and a description on the threat they pose to the community to help find and take them into custody. The timeline of 17 days could have been reduced as could the damage that was done, not being able to tell what had happened and who we were looking for. 23 months since the murders of Lyric and Devin, the legal process continues. Ross's court dates keep getting pushed back. Pain like this, I never knew it existed on earth, honestly. And it never stops. It doesn't get easier. Time doesn't make it easier. 
we've been fighting for justice for so long. And no matter what the outcome is, it's still not justice because we don't have our, ki our kid. No matter what happens. For Lyric's family, a trial will not only mark an official passage of time, but a chance for them to really begin to grieve. I just asked. For Sheriff Blackwood, it will officially put an end to a case and an investigation that has changed him and his team. Still sitting on his desk, a photo of Lyric and this gift from her parents. This angel is holding a uh, basket of sunflowers. I leave this on my desk. That's my way of keeping Lyric alive in my life and to bring to justice those who took her from us. And that reminder is to do that for every case. With the loss of Lyric, a new unbreakable bond. The sheriff and her parents talk often, and together they visit her and Devin's memorial, placed right where their bodies were found. Father, we just thank you for the love that you placed around this family. Forever connected. And Lyric's mom is working to start a nonprofit organization in her memory called Lyric's Light. It's to help families be able to bury and mourn their children without worrying about money. She tells me it helps to give her purpose to be able to help others right now. And as for Ross, he does have an administrative hearing next month, and the family hopes a trial will be scheduled soon. Angela, Russ? Uh, nothing. A parent should have to go through something like that, but to see that they're doing something. Absolutely. Change. And, you know, we commend them, Haley, for talking about this mm -hmm. in front of so many thousands of people who will be watching this. Mm -hmm. Very brave on their part. Yeah. And hopefully during this trial, we can all learn possibly what that motive well, yeah, was. Because we still don't know. We still don't know. Right. Haley, thank you so much.